morning, everybody. It is 5.15 a.m. on Saturday morning. We just got up to go hit the gym. It's early. I am doing something a little bit different for breakfast um, than my usual breakfast before working out because we woke up so early. So, I'm sure some of you guys have done this before. Some of you guys probably have it. It's very, very good. It's in the midst of cooking right now. I actually just got done. Let me show you guys this. It is, looks like a bowl of soup right now, huh? It is oatmeal, 25 grams of carbohydrates, not really that much. And then um, uh, a scoop and a half of protein. So about 35 grams of carbohydrates or so. Instead of having a full breakfast, this is something I like to do pretty regularly. You are awake. What are you doing? <laughs> what you eating, babe? Protein shake. Protein shake, pre-workout, and... Some delicious French toast waffles. Yeah, I am. Because I need carbs. You see those? We don't play around. We don't buy the little bags. We buy the big. <laughs> Miami. And then you said what? <laughs> Miami. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. All right, guys. Uh. One of the biggest things people get caught up with in the gym is the amount of weight that they're doing. You don't need to do a whole lot of weight to create tension within the muscle. The best way to make a muscle grow is to create tension within the muscle. You can do that with very light weight. So, one of the best ways to do that though is, say for instance on a bicep curl, you curl up and slowly go down on the eccentric portion of the lift, which is the length of your muscle. Take about three seconds or so to go down contract back up as fast as you can. Repeat the process. It looks like this. Three seconds on the way down, zero seconds on the bottom, one second to lift, and then again, three seconds on the way back down. One of the best ways to create tension within the muscle. That's gonna be the best way for the muscle to actually increase in size, and uh, give it a try. different ways to do this one you don't want to squeeze the bar bar too hard and you just want to put it about right here and grip it like this as opposed to gripping it really really tight keep your thumbs out like this right here as long as you're coming up and flexing your bicep like that without bringing your arms forward unless you absolutely have to to cheat that's gonna be the best way to contract your bicep so if you notice a lot of my reps I'm staying here and here Best way to take your shoulder out of the mix and to contract your bicep to its fullest potential. Um, sometimes you see me going elbows up because I'm using a little momentum to help exhaust my muscle that much more. Um, and that's okay if you do every once in a while. Best way to contract your bicep.
We don't look back on yesterday. We're on fire in our minds. No, we cannot be confined. So let's forget who we are and remember all the things that make this life worthwhile for the night. Oh, you know I'm because my biceps are way too tight. you guys want bigger arms, you know your triceps are made up of two thirds of your arm. So as you can see, three different heads. Outside head, inside head, and your, your, your intermediate head is underneath both those heads. So if you want bigger arms, I highly suggest doing skull crushers because it's gonna hit this large portion of your tricep right here. By far one of the best things you do to grow your arm um, in the quickest time possible. Work your triceps first if you can. DJ Khaled. Nothing beats going to the gym at 6 a.m. in the morning because there's literally nobody here. Um, one of the only times that I have actually been to this gym where there's not a lot of people here. <sighs> Makes it very nice and no one's looking at you crazy because you're recording. So sweet. Hopefully you guys enjoy are enjoying this workout and keep lifting. Are you recording me? Kara's lifting right now and I'm over here talking.
Dips on a dip machine. I'm sure you guys have this machine before, or at, I'm sure you guys have this machine at your gym. Um, we're going to be doing a very, um, we're going to be doing this a very unconventional way. One of my friends, Joey, actually showed me how to do this um, because it hits your tricep in a much uh, different uh, different area of your tricep than just doing the normal way here, which quite frankly, I hate doing it that way. So um, a way to do it, face machine, dig your chest into it, and here we go. With me not being strapped into the machine, you can't do a whole lot of weight because it actually lifts you up. So just focus on the contraction of the tricep. And um, that's what you need to be focused at when doing this tricep dip machine the unconventional way. Cardio on the Stairmaster really sucks, but I am getting a little bit of fluffy, a little bit fluffy, so that's why I am doing 20 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster at least three to four days a week to keep my fat down. Um, a lot of people don't like to do cardio during the off season for whatever reason, but it is extremely important for one, heart health. And for two, to keep the excess fat away. That's the biggest thing because we're all about the lean gains, right? That's what it's about. So, 54 days a week, I'm keeping my carbohydrates about the same, 250 grams. So instead of reducing those carbohydrates, I'm actually just expending calories a different way, such as in cardio. Because I love eating my carbohydrates. For right now, at least. So, this is the end of my end of my second week of bulking. Um, and so far, so good. We got a long ways to go, but we are making progress. One day at a time, one meal at a time, one workout at a time. 
Peace.